Next question, question 48. In an examination, the maximum marks for each of the four papers, namely P, Q, R and S are 100. Marks scored by the student are in integers. A student can score 99 percentage in n different ways. What is the value of n? So this is an interesting question. I will discuss two ways to solve this question. Um, and first one is uh, the simplest way or shortest way I would say, not simpler but shortest way to solve this. That is using the concept of combination with repetition. I will discuss how. So it is said the student needs to score 99 percentage mark. So what does that mean? There is four papers PQRS. Each paper is 100 marks. So total marks is 400. And if he scores 99 percentage marks, that means uh, 99 percentage was 400 is nothing but 396. He will be losing four marks. He is he has scored 396 marks and he is losing four marks. It doesn't matter whether he lose four the entire four marks in P or he distributes his that four marks like one mark from P, one mark from Q, one mark from R, one mark from S. It doesn't matter. He just has to lose. Uh, he he has lost four marks and. Uh, in what all ways he can lose four marks in these four papers is the question. So this is a classic case of combination with repetition. That is, we have to select four papers. The four papers can be P itself or it could be PQRS or two P's and two Q's or one P, one Q, two R's and one S. It doesn't matter. We just have to pick four from it and uh, uh, four papers from this and repetition is allowed. This is the classic case of uh, combination with repetition. Combination with repetition formula is R n plus r uh, minus 1 c uh, r. Here n equal to 4 and r equal to 4. So that means 4 plus 4 8 minus 1 7 c 4. c r is 4. So we get uh, 7 e4 is uh, 5 into 6 into sorry uh, 7 c4 which is 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 by 4 into 3 into 2 so 4 4 gets cancelled 3 2 gets cancelled with 6 so 7 into 5 which is 35 so we get our answer straight away as 35. So solution to question 48 is D 35. So this is, uh, so if you are not familiar with this concept combination with repetition, I have done a video on this topic, uh, permutation and combination. Um, you can find that video in my playlist, uh, per, uh, basic concepts of mathematics. Uh, there is a video permutation titled permutation combination. I have discussed this, uh, case in detail there you can check out if you want to learn about this combination in this case so this is one method as you can see you can get to the answer in just one step so i will discuss the another method so as i said uh, p uh, v uh, four marks uh, can, uh, the question is asking how many ways we can lose that four marks if you have four papers so one way is uh, so first case will be um, losing four marks entirely uh, in one paper itself so either in p or q or r or s so uh, if you if you have only one paper to choose uh, our marks will be some somewhat like this i'll just write 96 100 100 100 right uh, whether this is p q r s we don't know now we can use the combination uh, uh, sorry um, um, 96 can go in uh, whether in p or q or r or s so total how many ways uh, just 4 c1 or 4 ways we have 4 ways to do this now let's assume uh, this is losing entire marks on one paper uh, we can do that in 4 ways now let's think 
we lose uh, the entire marks in two papers that is we will have 98 and 98 then we will have 100 100 how many ways we can permute this combination uh, it is permutation with repetition so this is nothing but uh, two identical cases so 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial so when when an item is repeating uh, two times we will divide it with 2 factorial then the second item is also repeating two times then we again divide with 2 factorial so we get um, 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 by 2 into 2 so 6 ways we get 6 ways as as our answer so now let's assume we have already uh, dealt with uh, losing 4 marks in 1 paper losing marks in 2 papers and then losing marks in 3 papers that will be like um, how we can lose marks in 3 papers um, if uh, for that um, we have either we will lose either like this and that is 90 uh, 7 okay there is one more case we i haven't discussed uh, losing mark in two papers can also mean like this uh, 97 uh, 7 and that is losing three marks in one paper and losing one mark in another paper this is also possible so if you do this same uh, the total number of ways will be 4 factorial by only two numbers is repeating so 2 factorial so we will get 4 into 3 4 into 3 into 2 by 2 so we will get 12 ways this is also one possible way if you are losing paper like uh, splitting like this so 2 2 3 1 um, that is the only split that is possible to split between 2 right 4 uh, 2 2 3 1 yeah that is only possible so uh, now if you think about three papers we can split uh, split it uh, like uh, 3 2 2 1 so that is 98 sorry not 2 2 1 2 1 1 so that is the only possibilities to 211 so 98 uh, 99 99 100 so is there any other clip we can make out of 4 uh, no right yeah so in this case we'll have using permutation by uh, permutation we have 4 factorial by uh, none none is repeating so uh, 98, 99, uh, sorry, uh, 99 is repeating twice. So 2 factorial again, which is 12. Uh, so 4 factorial by 2 factorial will be 12 ways. Uh, now let's think about uh, losing the marks in all the papers. So that means 99, 99, 99, 99. There is only one way to do this. So one way. So total number of ways will be. Uh, 12 plus 12 plus 6 uh, plus 4 plus 1 so that will be uh, 10 14 15 so 1 sorry 5 <laughs> so 5 15 1 3 35 ways the so total 35 ways so as you can see you can find in this manner also uh, so but it takes more steps uh, more calculations uh, so it doesn't uh, so if you can choose either way but if you know uh, combination with repetition you can do this solve this question in just one step so yeah I have discussed both the step there may be other ways to solve this also but yeah these are the two uh, 
uh, ways we can solve this so in case if you are not familiar with this uh, four factorial by two factorial and two factorial just visit uh, just have a look at the video i have done on permutation and combination you can find that video on the playlist basic concepts of mathematics in my channel uh, i have discussed the different cases of permutation and combination in detail even if you have no prior knowledge about the topic you will be able to follow that uh, follow that video and you will uh, at the, uh, if you follow it thoroughly at the end of the video you will have enough knowledge to solve all the questions that come from this topic in the CSAT examination so in case if you are if you get if you are getting confused by this answer do check out that video and if you have still doubt do comment i will try to address it so this is the solution to question 48 solution is d 35